farmer Ben here from Dan Hill Farm and Fungi. And don't end up like me, breaking your hand, hand stirring media. It's insane. Build yourself a pneumatic bagger like this, but with some careful modifications that we've made and we'll go over in this video. All right, so one of the modifications we made is we have a four inch pipe uh, used for the paddle bits and we added a second paddle bit in the middle or a third paddle bit but um this cut our 10 pound bag which would be this section here into half to make five pound bags so that we could seamlessly transition between five and ten pound bags and so we just have ball valves to the air lines that turn them on and off um, and then we have the water side over here on the left and so this side we have a controller that measures out the right amount of water and dispenses that into the top of the pipe and then that's held ready in a reservoir for the drop and so the pellets and the water drop at the same time the one downside to the setup is that we have to manually stir the pellets in the hopper here unless we were to buy like combo pellets or run straight wood uh, another downside to this setup is that you have to manually add uh, any type of uh, amendment like gypsum or beef um, and i'm just gonna do a little operation for y'all Turn the water on after every fill or every drop so that you uh, make sure you have it ready by the time that you open the bag back up. And that's ready to rock. And there are two positions for the pedal. One is open and one is closed. So the bottom valves open when you and, uh, hit the trigger and the top valve closes when you hit the trigger and then they reverse when you hit the trigger the second time. All right, the only time you have to use a drill now is stirring the media up in the dry form in the pellets and you can do different combinations of pellets and different types of pellets, whatever you like, uh, but primarily use 50% wood and 50% soy hull because that's what's available in our area. One downside is that the Eric Meyer video talks about adding a pressure switch into the controller to allow the foot pedal to trigger the controller to run. When we got this unit, the unit you recommended, my electrician friend said that it's not the same as in the video. So I don't know if they changed like the schematics on that and he couldn't problem solve it, figure it out. So that is one downside with this setup is that we have to manually hit run to fill the reservoir with water uh, to be able to drop it at the same time. But if you don't reset the trigger, you can add the water in just like we just did. Okay. Run. Keep rolling. It pretty much works out as fast as you can open the bag. So it's not that big of a deal. I highly recommend using one of these baggers if you're going to be um, growing more than say 20 to 40 blocks a week. It definitely gets redundant trying to hand mix media or fill bags by hand. All right, servicing the Eric Myers pneumatic bagger setup. Um, so these clog with powder from the soybean hull. So I have to remove them and shake out the powder. So I'm gonna show y'all how that works out. So this is pulling the pneumatic air lines out and they're really easy, just quick slip valves that you pull the ring down and pull the hose out. It's uh, pretty sweet and you can have ball valves and versatility and <clears throat> multiple valves per line. To get around having to do this every quarter or when the soy is more powdery and clogs it, we're gonna put a funnel into our barrel hopper.
layer by layer, building it up. Maybe an hour later, it's a pretty decent funnel. It's hard to get a picture of it, um, but pretty excited about that. Hopefully it holds up. A bit of a, a doozy to see if it can withstand that auger bit hitting it, but it was topper sand. It's a quick creep product. All right. So as the weeks would go by, all the soy powder and the soy pellets would consolidate on the bottom few inches of the hopper and slowly kind of clog everything up. The auger bit doesn't help this situation because there's a spike at the bottom so the fins don't hit the ground and um, that allowed the bottom to never be stirred. All right. So you can see what happens with the soybean holes in this valve. This is open and it's clogged with the powder. The powder is actually all the way back into that plastic section that encases the stainless steel paddle. So you actually have to manually pump the paddle bit up and down to get it to empty out. And it is so much fun. I love it. I love taking it apart when it's full and stuck open. It's just like a uh, bomb waiting to go off in your workspace. There's no way to close it when it's all the way full on the top side. So it was quite an engineering feat of trying to figure out a way to make this better um, because I don't like having to like rip it off and then switch a trash bag under it to catch all the media um, luckily we knew it was jamming up and we emptied it out the last time before this cleaning video but um, yeah so that's definitely one downside to this model um, I am hoping the funnel works out my friend was saying that I could epoxy the topping sand to form a harder layer that will withstand um, the the uh, auger bit hitting against it. So I'll kind of let you guys know how that works out. So these things come with these washers that go in here to make this a waterproof or wire valve and you need to pull them out or they will definitely clog. So far with the um, auger bit and the topping sand there's been no issues and the big thing about using the topping sand is that it breaks off into small pieces versus concrete that has like the gravel rocks and stuff that would damage the paddle bit I did realize one last thing to go over you can see those black rings on the pipe in between the paddles uh, those were for the original iteration from the Eric Myers video um, using a slip valve to be able to adjust the size of the bags. Maybe that works for three inch pipe, but the four inch pipe was extremely hard to move. It was a pain in the ass. Um, I found it easier just to measure out what the right amount of volume I wanted is and made the pipe that size. I also feel like it was impossible to make it smaller than 12 or 13 pounds. All right, we got it all back together and I'm gonna do a trial run. I have it set up to do the five pound bags and I have been waiting to do some plain wood bags for wine cap and shiitake spawn. So I'm gonna give it a trial and everything seemed to be working great. We've now used this setup a few weeks in a row and we have no problems. The one thing I will say, just cause you can see there's a little bit of leakage we operate the paddles at some 40, I think, PSI over their recommended operating pressure. And I think maybe that's because of the powder or just like because it's not water, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Big thanks to my wife and I's side project, Mycelia, for the music.